All right, it's time for some fun. I have a student that um, he is really having fun playing the C major scale, which I can't hardly believe because I've always taught it. Like, here's your C major scale. This is the foundation of music. And people will play through it once or, you know, just kind of like, so... I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> you can't hear that, but this guy totally gets it. He literally starts yelling when he, <laughs> he gets so excited. <laughs> it's insane. And uh, so this is kind of what he's doing. It's like. And he thinks that's amazing. And I do too. <laughs> That's just your C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, then a C chord. And then he'll descend. I might get him to go. Notice how it's all staying in the first three frets. been on that for probably a month and we do an hour lesson and he just loves it and I'm and then I'll you know we do some other things and uh, I think we've got him going like and on an acoustic guitar he's pretty much a beginner but he has no problem finding that C perfectly every time On an acoustic, when you got that high, those high notes, just go over the top. It's not going to hurt you. <laughs> I try to get people to stop on the root note and kind of understand that you've resolved. It's a place you could resolve if you need to stop. The C is a nice way to get off the train. Okay, so we uh, we were having fun the other day, and uh, I showed him this. He lost his mind. <laughs> I love it. You know, I teaching to people who are a little indifferent about this stuff. You know, I think everybody's got to. Everybody will understand this in their own time, and I wish it happened sooner. I wish people would get excited about that a little sooner like this guy's doing. So I understand, you know, if this seems kind of boring or pointless, I have to accept that. And, you know, I'm like, well, maybe next year this guy will start hearing it. You know, I just kind of wait until they hear it and start understanding that the scale is pretty cool. But that... What I just did really freaked this guy out, how it went. He immediately started picking on it, you know, like, whoa, 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 whoa. He, he wanted to play right away. So it's just G, A, B, C. I visualize like a little stair step, and you're trying to get, let's say you're in the basement, you're trying to get to the main floor, and there's like four stairs, or... Boom, 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 G, A, B, C. Then comes the strumming business, which really... <laughs> and that does sound corny, but it is awesome. It sounds like, you know, uh, polka time, which is, polka is actually really fun music. Uh, but... Or country. Or folk. So I'm going bass, then down up. Bass note of a C chord is a C note. Bass, down up. Then we do something called the alternate bass note, which is the G 
on the sixth string, third fret. Just hop on over there and pick that note and give me a down up. It's okay to leave that finger on there and you're probably going to mute the fifth string with the underside of your ring finger. Yep, it's muted. I don't think about it too much. <laughs> it helps. I put these fingers here. They sit there. That keeps me stabilized so I'm not, you know, missing the strings and, you know, I'm pretty consistent with that sound. Is that out of tune? Eh, it's pretty close. Well, if you want to add a chord to that, you'd want to hit an F. So that was C, D, E, F. Three, zero, two, three, C, D, E, F. F chord. Index, middle. You can put ring and pinky side by side. Here's the bass note, F. Alternate bass note is C. Eventually, we take her back to C. Then, down to G. Or G7. Here, so that was C, B, A, G. Walk it down. Boom, 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 boom. Here we're going to hit the sixth string is the bass note, G. Alternate bass note is the fifth string, B. Walk it back to C. Let's throw the metronome on there and have a little fun. What do we want for tempo? Oh no, preset. Come on, back around, try it again. Alright, let's go like 156. Woo, too fast for me. How about 138? Take her down to open-minded about it, but you'd want to have a decent sense of 12-bar blues, too. Um, there's a song called Cocaine Blues that I ripped off from George Thorogood, but he learned it from Johnny Cash. I, I don't know who wrote that one. Cocaine Blues? making the rounds I took a shot of cocaine and I shot my woman down I shot her down I sat at loving 44 beneath my head Woke up the next morning, I grabbed that gun I took a shot of cocaine and away I run Maybe good luck, but I run too slow 
They overtook me down on Juarez, Mexico. That's a whole song. So that's the key of C. I recommend spending a little time with the scale. Resolve on the roots for now. You can resolve any place you want, but the root makes it be your most common thing. Makes a little bit of sense, and then you can start adding the chord. You can resolve on C chord, and then maybe do a little C bass note. alternate bass, bass down up alternate bass down up sort of playing. It's pretty cool man, you can, it kind of keeps the momentum going when you when you strum like that. You know it's not just so kind of spongy, it gives you kind of a hard boundary of kind of the pulse of the song. Well there you go, I hope that was kind of fun. I gotta go try to start a truck for a guy. Am I a mechanic now? <laughs> I guess I am. See you later.